on. What's up, my people? Welcome back. Um, we're in Kerbal again. I know it's been a long time since we've been in Kerbal Space Program, and I, I can agree with you, it has been a very long time. But I think I'm getting a lot better at the game, and I'm now staging and stuff. But, uh, I think it's you get the lander down. We're doing a lot of testing down at, um, but, um, today I want to build a new rocket, so I'm gonna call this, uh, computer back. Um, I have to build something, so it's gonna start with the C there. But, um, put a little command pod there, and put a nice little, little heat shield, um, right below it, just for the, just for the command module, put a little decoupler there, coupling, uh, maybe a nice little size decoupler, not big, not too big, there we go, we got a heat shield, this is, this is the base design for currently, um, I'm just gonna put a little payload thingy there, we're gonna put this thing, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see this stuff, we're gonna have to make sure this stays here, so, and the parachutes, the when those open, the parachutes will deploy. Shroud. Put in some um, parachutes in the spacecraft. So we're gonna put a couple of those on the spacecraft. So we're gonna have some parachutes to a turn. Those are too big. I think I want to put the orange. We're gonna put the orange ones. We're not gonna make too big parachutes. We don't need too big parachutes. I may, I may, I may not seem quick like regular Kerbal YouTubers or gamers or like usual ones would say we play Kerbal, but, uh, I'm newer to the game, so don't comment on me, any Kerbal fans who want to start watching this channel if I start posting up more. I did say there's gonna be a lot more of these, but I'm currently, I'm just recording videos. I'm probably gonna record, like, constant videos today. So, uh... Over the next couple of days, I'm probably going to record constant videos, but they're not going to get posted up, so I don't, I don't have to do anything. I'll interrupt my time of my week. As you can see, we got parachutes. These are the things. This is actually very cool. This is this is the this is zero. So um, so we're just gonna. This is just the. Oh, I I want the whole command module. I'm just gonna move that up. It looks a little weird and funky, but uh, that's. I'm actually gonna put a drogue shoot. If you don't know what a drogue shoot is, actually, I'm not gonna do a drogue shoot. I think I'm just gonna make it better. It's like that and stuff. It's all covered up. But, um, yeah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna put anything else. We're just gonna. We're not gonna put a launch escape tower. I don't need that. Really, nothing can go wrong in Kerbal, and also this is actually not going to be controlled. I think this is the fake command pod. This is another test rocket that I'm making. So there's the only reason there's a pod there is to make sure I can test the weight out. So that's we're going to put a little too big. Uh, I think that's a good size. That's a good size. This is that's just the probe test. There's going to be no curb knots on there. See, no Kerbal knots, no Kerbal knots. Hopefully it doesn't doesn't do anything with me, but uh payload, service module. Be a nice little thing there. We're gonna, I'm not gonna worry about batteries because that's not gonna do anything for us. We're gonna put a fuel tank. One of those tiny little ones. Okay, we're gonna put a nice little fuel line to make sure it can all combust into an engine. And we're just gonna close that up there. And this payload's gonna is gonna is actually gonna destroy it. It's actually just gonna stay like that. But we're gonna put an engine on there. An engine, a nice burnabout engine. This is perfect for um the service module, but I do kind of, oh, it's perfect, it actually mapped it out, I actually want to try this out, save, called, back on channel, that's what it's going to be called, and save, and launch launch, I want to test out this launch vehicle, I kind of want to, I'm going to test it out on the launch pad like a crazy person, I don't know why, but we're going to test it out, it's not going to it's not gonna go well. 
it's too heavy. We need to be tested, but there was no Kerbal Knot, which is good, so I can test it out like that. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna put a nice little decoupler. Boom. So, this is what the service module is gonna look like a decoupler. Now, the engine's covered there, but, um, we're gonna put a, a big fuel tank. We're gonna put the first, the second stage, the third stage of the rock. Well, the whatever stage is gonna be, I'm probably gonna make it like two stage. We're just gonna disconnect this part. But, uh, and boom, and we're just gonna put like one simple fuel tank. I'm not gonna make it crazy at all. Um, we're gonna put a single booster engine. Uh, this I think is the one I'm looking for, yes. And then we're just gonna put a regular size, this one. Then I'm gonna put another fuel tank. I'm gonna have to lift this rocket up again. It looks kind of funky if you think about it. It's a very. It's a very chunky rocket. Very chunky. It looks kind of weird. If you think it's a little chunky, it's the best we're gonna get at this point. Yeah, I'm just gonna put um, a simple like that. I'm just gonna put this little. I'm gonna put a mammoth engine, a little mammoth engine in the center for like a crazy guy. That's what, this is what my designs are usually. It may look weird, but this is the best I'm gonna get at this point. But, um, for a heavy rock. But this is not the end. This is just the main liquid stages. This is not the end. And then I'm just gonna have to do my options. Which I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to edit my video, so it may be a long video. There to go. We're gonna save that back on channel. This is the back on channel base rocket. This is the main part of the launch vehicle. We're gonna have a little boost off the ground on some of them. But this is what it looks like. This is a beast of a rocket. I'm actually gonna put lock gimbal because I have no idea what that does on these of this gimbal. So this is gonna be gimbal lock. And these are gonna be uh, gimbal is free. So so um, what shroud? And I, don't, I really honestly just don't care anymore. But um, yeah. So that's gonna be the center four engines are gonna be lock gimbal. Our engines are gonna be free. Then we're gonna put some more decouplers. Yeah, and these are side. But also it's gonna be it's gonna be off the spacecraft. Where it's gonna be where I can actually see it. And it's not gonna get stuck on the rocket like one of those flat ones. Boom, I don't think they're even. Yeah, they're nowhere near evened out. I'm not good at even. I guess that's the best one to get. I'm gonna put an engine. Put a humongous solid thruster on this one part. That's, ah, it's, it's not cool. I think this one's too big. I think we need a, s a slight smaller. Boom. Now it's on that little decoupler. I'm not gonna make them too big because you don't need too humongously big. Save. So make sure. So these are gonna fire. This is gonna fire. Then these two are gonna stage when they're out of fuel. But these are also gonna ignition. These are also gonna fire. Then these, and then that's gonna decouple. 
Then the second stage, I think that's the second stage. Well, fire, then. And that's to end it out stage. And then this is. Then this is, um, that. And then this will just payload in the middle of space. And then these will all deploy when that happens. And we'll also. Oh, that's not good. Uh. We'll put that, so I'm gonna put this there, and this there to make sure they all happen. Boom. Let's hope this works. Save. Okay. Now we're just gonna put something, like, film something that will help it. I'm actually gonna put struts on the, uh, on the, uh, I actually can put struts on on these so they don't wiggle like crazy. I'm gonna put some struts. This tall rock is like these are known for uh make that happen, but we're just gonna struts those SRBs. Oh no, not the whole tank, no. Save. We're actually going to make it when they're on the SRPs. That's really a bad idea. But it's the best we're going to get. And we're not, hopefully not going to be stuck. To when I finally stage them. But um, I'm going to put some more struts. Hold on. There's to make sure those don't wiggle at all. These usual rockets of this size will have the parts above the first stage. Wiggle like that. But we're going to make sure that service module also strutted together to make sure those things get to. Okay. Okay. I hope this I beg that the SRBs don't fall off. This has happened. Every time Oh uh, no. Uh, luckily there's no one up the Luckily Ultimate. Luckily, no one was on board. No one was on board the spacecraft. But what happened? Uh, are these not? I don't know. Are they? They're connected to the ground. Hold on. Launch. I wonder what happens. I'm looking at the ground. I want to make sure I look at the ground. Ugh, that was weird. What? Any sense? What happened? Uh. It's lifted up, yes, but I think we need also some strutting, some structure on the liquids too. That's what. I'm, that's what may be happening. We need some. Instead of actually, let's get rid of the ones on the SRBs. The SRBs will be okay. Uh, hopefully. Put some on the liquids. The liquids don't have anything. Those are gonna fall off. I think that's what the game is getting confused. Save and let's launch the unmanned spacecraft. Oh my god, the undone, the undone spacecraft. Let's see what happens. Come on, I beg this to work. Please work. I hope it does. If it doesn't, I'm gonna go insane. Oh, let's take it forever to load. Uh Okay. Cause these are all together. And these are all gonna go. Yes! We have a lift off and the SRVs too. Yay! SRBs also are working. So when those SRBs are out of fuel, it should not be too soon. Those are out of fuel, hopefully they will stage. I hope, because those are in stage. So we're going to hit a little bit. So it's a big rocket, but those SRBs are back. 
glitchy. With all that power being gone. It's also it's like the log to get them to on their side. Both four centers. It's not that big of a pitch. They actually still have light in it. There's no curve so it's a pro control. But hopefully this works because we're back on the channel. This is what it's called. Back on the channel. Like, yeah. Yes! The SRP staged. The SRP is actually staged. Oh, it's so glitchy and nice. I don't know about you guys, but my screen is glitchy. But the SRP is We have to make sure that we're also going to have to stage those liquids too. But now I think we're better with this. I think it's us when we're causing some damage in the system. Okay. Yeah, overheating. Ah, it keeps on freezing on my screen. I don't know about you guys, but it's freezing for me. Ugh. Sorry guys, hopefully it's working for you guys, but it's not working for me. Yeah, it's still working. I don't know. I don't know, I guess this rocket's just so powered. Uh, it's, it's not risk out there. Come on, don't. I think once we get rid of that first DTP, we can. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, but there's the first stage. The first stage. It's gone. It's gone. The first stage. The Dervis. The Dervis first stage. It keeps on freezing, though. I don't know why it's still freezing. I mean, that the powerful first stage is gone. Oh my god. It's a. It's really annoying. The back on the channel rockets just glitch. But I think it may be because of back on here. I could even log this stuff on my laptop too. So. Who knows? But soon enough, we're gonna have to stage this, this big boy, and then we're gonna have this little service module. But that was awesome. We actually did a complete SRB. The SRBs work this time. That's perfect. We had SRB action. But I don't know if that gave, it, gave us. Uh, we, uh, I forgot to do a dump roll, so we're not gonna get roll. There we go, roll. Yeah, roll. I think we can't really do like many good rolls on um, in space because we're actually out of the atmosphere now. We're kind of in in space, but this actually doesn't need to return back to Kerbin, so we're just gonna push us push ourselves up away from Kerbin. We're gonna push ourselves down and up. Uh, I can't actually go inside of the spacecraft because there's literally nothing in there. There ain't nothing in this little spacecraft. So technically there's no need for lighting. I think the only reason there's a command pod there is that this is gonna actually test out. This is a testing war of the MP missions still. Oh, it's because the MP missions are actually not the missions we started off with in Kerbal. The missions we're actually doing currently are the missions. So the Kerbal, the MP missions are actually the missions, the final missions. So this is not career mode. It's still not career mode missions because we're going to kind of storyline esque. But um, this is um, one of those rockets that's not going to be This is going to be a test rocket. Though it's called Back on the Channel. It's just a fun little name. And they actually changed it. But now we're. Uh, what the heck? That was weird. But uh, we're trying to not get away. Trying to get away. Oh my god, it's glitching. Yeah. It's still glitching. May actually end. I feel like we're going the opposite direction that the thruster is pushing us towards, but okay. And they're about to stay. They're about to stage. There we go. 
X. And there we go. The unmanned spacecraft. And actually, that was a test on the SRB control. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.